Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am very happy to see you all have arrived to my royal ball tonight. As princess as Rose Jim's castle, in tonight's ball, I am seeking a suitable man or a woman to be married to me as I be crowned as new queen of Rose Jim's kingdom. I will be around tonight and chatting and talking to many of you tonight to hopefully find the one. But overall, we have tonight's mini dances and we have drinks and music coming along with tonight's events with along with dinner coming soon. So everyone, I hope you enjoy this ball and hopefully you be the one for me. And I thank you all for coming. Now, let the first dance begin. Good evening to you both. I hope you're enjoying tonight's ball. <laughs> ah, yes. Cheers to the royal ball tonight. I hope you guys are enjoying it tonight. My father, yes, he decided for this to happen. Since my mother and father are away from the kingdom and it's only just me looking after it, so, they want me to find someone suitable for me. So, here it is, this royal ball, to hopefully find the one. <laughs> my, my, a lot of people seem to be on the floor tonight. So many couples seem so happy. <laughs> oh, I'm just used to studying and doing royal things, it'd be a first for me to actually have someone beside me. <laughs> but tonight is the night for it to happen. Hopefully, I'll find the one. Oh, who's out on that balcony? Someone I've never seen before. Do you know the person standing out there on that balcony? Huh. Well, it seems like they're by themselves, I guess. I can go introduce myself. Excuse me, both of you. I'll be going and greeting other people now. Um, I will catch with you both later. <laughs> it was fun. I couldn't help but notice that you were standing out here by your lonesome. Is everything alright? Oh, you don't have to do anything too extra for me. I know that I'm Princess of the Rose Gym Castle and everything, but you don't have to bow or anything. But I just saw you out here and... I figure I come introduce myself. It's a peaceful night, huh? Too crowded in there for you? <laughs> uh, being royal and being a princess, it, you know, you get used to it after a while. Being around people and stuff. But I can understand why you're out here. Not always my fancy cup of tea, but it's something nice every once in a while. Oh my, looks like they just finished the dance. Well, the next dance will be starting soon. If it's not too much or forward, you know, asking, would you care to have this next dance with me? 
if you don't like this dance. We can just sit back out here and talk for a while, if you'd like. <laughs> All right. Well, we best get going. Here, take my hand. Now, shall we go? <laughs> Well, we got a good spot. You know how to dance with a lady? <laughs> of course you do. Here, the next song will be starting, and we can start dancing. This one will be a slow one, so... Oh, here we go. See, I told you it was going to be a slower song. As a royal princess, I do have to keep my checks in order, especially with the songs and dances and stuff that are happening tonight. So, <laughs> I spend all my time trying to make sure everything in this kingdom is going well. Well, I mean, I was named Rose after the Rose Gym Kingdom. <laughs> and I am soon to be queen if I find the right one. You know the history of the Rose Kingdom? Oh, you do? Well, I can tell you a little bit more. The rose gem bush was found underneath this castle that we which stand upon. The roses were red, but they weren't roses, they were crystals. Instead, gems, as you call it. <laughs> and that's how this kingdom was made. Because of that, it was the only crystals that they found here and you couldn't find them anywhere else besides this kingdom and under this castle. We don't know what happened to the rest of the gems, but only one gem is still left. It's unknown. Huh. What are you saying? You think that the gems were used? Well, we certainly have no idea on what happened to the gems, but only one exists. Oh? You think vampires were created from these gems? That's... Ridiculous. How could you think of that? The gems, like I said, were lost. Hmm. So you think that the crystals were crushed up and ingested by the royal family or someone? Huh. Well... I wouldn't say that. Like I said, I told you that these crystals, they disappeared over time and only one last that keeps this castle standing. But the shims were lost. I think you might be thinking too much into this. Even I, as princess, I don't even know where they're at. None of us do. My parents, I don't even know if they know where they're at or what happened. They just must have disappeared over time. But my parents are always away doing work overseas. And I'm always here taking care of royalties as needed. I'm not always busy doing that. But my father sent a letter 
requesting that I find someone to help me so I can take this kingdom over as mine so they can sail the seas together. But you never know. I could find someone as special as they are tonight in this bowl. Well, I figure we can sit out on this next song, if you'd like. I'd like to keep talking to you. You seem so interesting to me. I just can't help but not talk to you. <laughs> Here, let's go ahead and go back to the balcony. Well, that was certainly nice, I must say. But, you keep bringing these vampires up. Why? You keep saying they have to do something with these rose gems and all of that, and I, trust me, I have no idea what happened, but if you want, you can explain it. Hmm. So you think these roses, the gems, you think that soul angels and bats have to do something with this? Huh. That's a crazy theory I've never heard of. I certainly have no idea what these, you know, gems hold in them, but... All I know is that they are the reason of this kingdom, and I still have to, as a princess, have to uphold on that. But I can tell you one thing. I don't think gems are supposed to be ingested or ate. I don't think any of my family would necessarily go as far as to that. But, um, I don't know why you keep thinking and saying that my royal family are vampires or something. Like I said, I'm a princess and this is my kingdom and I have no idea what you're talking about. All I know is what I told you. And that's all the history that I know of. So, you know, I, you know, try to understand what you're saying and all this theory, but you completely lost me. But it is very interesting conspiracy of yours. But we can talk about this over some drinks or something. Here, I'm going to go get us some drinks, if you don't mind. Excuse me. Thank you. Hmm. No one's looking. I might as well go ahead and... Add a few drops. <laughs> there we go. Now, time to deliver it to them. Here we are. <laughs> Here's your glass. Here's mine. Oh. What's the matter? 
Your drink seems to be a bit darker. I'm not so sure what you mean. Well, I mean, the bartenders and stuff like that, they tend to get the drinks and stuff, you know, mixed up and all that. It's completely normal. Here. Cheers to this royal ball and to the rose gems of this kingdom. <laughs> How does it taste? It has a weird, unique taste to it. You mean you've never tasted this before? Hmm. Well, go ahead and drink the rest. I'm sure that it, you know, just has an odd taste to it. Mine has an odd taste to it, too. Like I said, the service and stuff, you know, they always like to make different drinks and stuff for their balls and stuff like that. <laughs> Very tasty. Oh, you finished yours already. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> you know, you're quite and smart in some areas, but you trust me too well. That's a problem. <laughs> you trust people. Way too easy. Here in a few moments, you'll be under my control. Since you drunk what it was in that cup, you shouldn't have trusted me to go get it. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because you're going to be under my control very soon. And I think the next dance will be happening very, very soon. But for the meantime, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you a little bit of history of this family. Because you're all going to forget this by the time you're mind controlled by my red that I put in that cup. I think you know what I mean. As a vampire, I have the gift with my red. I can put it into someone's drink or something and they can eat it or drink whatever it is and be mind controlled for several hours depending on how much was given. But Unfortunately, that's a little bit I can tell you for now, but the next dance shall be interesting. I can tell you a little bit more before your mind is controlled by me. So go ahead, take my hand once again. Let me take you out on the dance floor, and let's give this another round, shall we? <laughs> Are you ready to dance once more? <laughs> we have a little while as we dance to this song before your mind is taken over. It should be taken over fully by the red by the end of this song. So, I might as well tell you a little bit of my family history. Yes, we are vampires. We are the original of all of it. You see, my family and I took a part of a little ritual with the rose gems. We crushed them 
and put them in some drinks and we toasted and we drunk it. We then perished and became vampires soon after that. And here we are. My parents decided since we do live forever as vampires to sell away to a new place and live their lives happily there. You see, it wouldn't look so normal if vampires had lived here for years and years. The kingdom would get suspicious of it all. So we came up with a plan to every new generation that comes into this kingdom and everything. They trade out and everything with the children and the children after that. It's all going according to plan. And we all, at the end, give the kingdom to our children and we sell away. <laughs> you see, I think I might have found the one on this one. You are the chosen one of the night and everyone's looking at us, but I'm keeping my voice lowered so they don't hear us. Isn't this fun? I'm sure we're going to have plenty of fun after this. And it looks very promising, because I do want to speak with you a little more privately after this little dance we have, because you'll be under my control, and I can do whatever I want with you. <laughs> my, my, your neck does look quite appetizing, I must say that. <laughs> oh, please, you'll forget everything that I ever brought up to you after this little song, which is happening now. <laughs> Why don't you have a look at me, dear? I command you to be in love with me tonight. And as far as you know, after this dance, which is now, we're supposed to be headed to a private room to have a chat. Just you and me. <laughs> Besides, I think there's a werewolf here, if she is here, of course. Anyways, where were we? Ah, yes, we'd be headed off now. <laughs> Shall we? Dear, <laughs> you were so amazing out on that dance floor tonight. <laughs> I command you to not be scared of me, and I command you to do anything I say. And I command you to let me drink from you. <laughs> I did mention your neck after all, so... So delightful. <laughs> oh, look 
at me, dear. Aren't you enjoying tonight? Even this. Go ahead. <laughs> Come here. I know you want a taste of your own red on my lips. <laughs> you know, one thing. I didn't quite explain it, but after you've been mind controlled, I can use this while you're mind controlled to brainwash you. And when you snap out of being mind controlled, you can feel any emotion I controlled you to feel while you're under my control. <laughs> so, with that being said, You'll remember tonight as if we met and we fell in love with each other and when you're out of this mind control, that's all you remember and you will be in love with me. <laughs> what do you say, dear? Shall I have another taste? Maybe. <laughs> The other side of your neck now, darling. <laughs> oh, you're such a good little rose petal. <laughs> you're my little rose petal. Tonight you are. <laughs> I know you love me so much, my little rose petal. You just can't get enough of me. And I can't get enough of you. <laughs> You're all mine. And I'm all yours tonight. <laughs> yeah, I command you to be so in love with me. <laughs> And, one other thing, you're gonna keep the vampire things to yourself. None of it will get out to anyone, and that is a command once you snap out of this. But for now, you want to show me your love, and I want to show you mine. <laughs> are so sweet just so like the red that comes from you it's so sweet the best satisfying red I've ever tasted in my whole life <laughs> I just can't get enough come here darling my sweet Little rose petal. Mm. <sighs> 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 huh? What's the matter? Wait a second. You're not under my control anymore. Uh. Why did you push away from me? Why are you so scared? Hey, what's going on? Talk to me. Hey, you got that look in your eye. That doesn't... Hey! Where are you going? Get back here! Psst. Hey! Follow me! Quickly!
Quickly! Quickly! She'll find you! Come on, let's go! Alright, now, we gotta go out these doors. Trust me, come on! Let's get out of here before she finds you! Go, go, go! got away from her. <laughs> That's a good thing. Um. Hi. Um. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Summer. Princess of the werewolves. Nice to meet you. everyone i hope you enjoyed this video um this is called the gym kingdoms yes this is going to be a series and this is going to be continued between two kingdoms and everything and you will learn more about it with the next video being a werewolf one with summer um i hope you guys love these characters that i made and uh am voicing um you're definitely gonna love uh summer uh besides um the bad vampire rose <laughs> so um yeah uh summer's more of your sweetheart she's very like um adorable like a very adorable little wolf little werewolf you know so i hope you guys enjoy um the series if you want me to keep going let me know down in the uh comments if you don't want to keep going just let me know but i gave it the best that i can and i i like it so far i like where this is all going and i hope that you guys like it too so um i hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and i will see you guys later Bye bye